All right, uh, this was sent into the channel for review. This is uh, from Elecro. Uh, Elecro, um, I have reviewed, I think, two of their things. We had the Elecro, remember that? The Crobot, that was pretty cool. And then they had a, a kit that was a whole bunch of Arduino type stuff and sensors and all that stuff. Anyway, they sent this in. Um, this is an LCD display and it's really targeted at the Raspberry Pi. Now I don't have a Raspberry Pi and I'm not really a Raspberry Pi guy, but I thought I had a use for this. So we'll take a look at it. But if you do have a Raspberry Pi, I think this would be a really, really nice monitor for it. Um, it's a big one. Uh, it is HDMI. Um, take the protective thing off here. Uh, let's see, what does it have? It has HDMI, power, and touch. So it has a, a built-in, uh, you know, mouse emulator as well. And let's see what else is in the box here. Should be a power supply. I'm sure we'll need that. Let's see here. Well, maybe you don't need a power supply. Maybe it's powered up through something else. I don't know. And some stuff. All right. Well, uh, this is, I think, a 10 inch. Uh, where's my. Yeah, 10 inch, uh, 26 millimeters. Uh, nice big display. Oops, put this way. All right. What we got here? We've got uh, an HDMI cable, a micro USB, and a micro USB. So one of these for power, one of these is for the mouse, and this is for the video. This looks like it might be some feet, so we can stand this thing up, which is what I want to do. So why am I interested in this thing? Well, I thought since my, oh man, this is hard to open up. Uh, since my Rigel scope can output HDMI, Uh, I thought we could be working on a circuit and have the oscilloscope right next to it. <laughs> That'd be really cool. I like that. Okay, so these little feet, I guess these just kind of go on like that. Uh, I don't think they have uh, screws or anything. I just think it goes like that. And we have a little adapter here, which is micro USB to HDMI. Hmm, okay. And, uh, okay, let's see if we can't, uh, if we can't power this thing up. I guess it just powers up on five volts. Guess. Uh, let's see here. Power is, oops. Power looks like it's the middle one. Put it on there. And uh, hook this up to five volts. Let's see what happens. Oh, the top lit up. There's a whole bunch of lights and stuff there. No signal. Okay, well, it is working though. So let me turn on my on my oscilloscope while we're playing with this. There's a little jog switch here. And, oh, there's a little couple buttons on the top. It's backlight and probably menu or something. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can't hook up the uh, HDMI. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Like we, we could be, uh, we could be working on this circuit and the oscilloscope will be right here. That'll be cool. Uh, all right. HDMI connector. Let's plug that in.
All right, let's back up here. All right, so on your uh, Regal scope, you need to go into display, I think. Display or system? Uh, display. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so to get into this, you need to hit the utility button. Uh, let's see, utility button, I.O. And then there's something called HDMI and you tell it to turn on. And then uh, need to plug it into the back. And it's right up here at the top. Maybe it's set up for a different resolution. Let's try a different resolution. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, so it works with that resolution. Uh, I've got a big, ugly, yeah, I've got to move my camera. All right, had the glare on the screen. Uh, but now we have an oscilloscope right next to our project. That's pretty cool. Now, it's only 720 by 480, though. I'm kind of disappointed with that. Uh, let's see, we can go 640 by 480. And it does that one. But let's try the high resolution again, which is 1280 by 720. And yeah, it's not going to recognize that. Well, that's too bad. That's, that's too bad. So it'll have some, some li limited use. There we go. Um, so let's uh, put something on the screen so we just don't have a flat line. I'll get up to the calibrator. And, oops. Adjust it down. Yeah, it'll be all right, I think. So there you go. Uh, that is my that is my game plan. I'm gonna have to work on the glare though. The filming in this garage is not ideal. Well, if I go really, really low, maybe that that probably is even worse. Yeah, that's probably even worse. If I tilt it down, oh, there we go. Okay, that's going to work. So I'll build some different mounting bracket for this thing so it can go straight up and down and then we can be right on the uh, on the project here when we're when we're working on it. So I think it'll be that'll be a really nice addition. All right, this button here adjusts the backlight brightness in 10% steps. And this button here seems to just flash some colors around the edges. It just turns that on and off. Uh, let's see, this button here, I don't know what the jog button does. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the jog button does other than adjust the colors as well. Um, I did try um, hooking up the uh, the mouse cord over to the Rigol. I don't know if I have to turn on mouse input for the Rigol or not. I've never had a mouse attached to it, but I imagine it would auto detect. Uh, let's see, utility uh, I/O. Is there a mouse? No, there's no mouse. Uh, system, yeah, I don't, I don't think, I think it would auto detect. So I don't think this is compatible with, uh, you would think it would be, hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'll work on that, but uh, it, it does work with a Raspberry Pi, um, obviously. So that's what its intended use is. But anyway, um, so general impressions, uh, build quality is super nice. Um, it might be nice if the feet were attached more permanently. It's just kind of a little thing. You just drop it a little cradle that you drop it into. Um, it has uh, the inputs here in the back. 
And oh, here we go. Here's what the buttons do. Mode, RGB on, off, backlight. Okay, so mode. What is mode? Mode. Mode. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. I just push on it. Does doesn't do any mode thing. I don't see any. Yeah. I don't think the mode does anything other than oh, other than the LED. LED flashiness mode. Yeah, that's all it is. It just makes the uh, <laughs> makes LEDs flash. Why would anybody add that? I don't know. It's like computers. It's like, you know, I know somebody who's got this gaming computer and it's all about making the lights flash on. <laughs> it's like playing the game is like secondary. Uh, I don't know. He's got one of those water cooling things and zips around. I don't know. I, don't know. Uh, I kind of like air cooling myself, but I'm not a gamer. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, I think you'll see this in, uh, in some videos where I want to uh, have it all on the screen instead of always panning back up and forth or trying to get my frame grabber. Uh, obviously, I can do the frame grabber thing and I can have it in the corner of the screen and everything, but uh, it's just extra work. My channel's all about me not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to work. And so I think this will be a nice, uh, a nice easy way to, to get an idea across sometimes. Okay, well, that was a review of the uh, display. I'll put the part number in the uh, description and title and uh, put a link down below where you can get such a thing.